Welcome to this Global Azure virtual session. In this session, we will cover Azure policy and initiatives in the context of monitoring and managing organizational governance. My name is Dwayne Natwick. I am based out of Commerce Township, Michigan in the USA. I spend my time as an author, trainer, and product manager that has been in the IT industry for over 30 years. I have multiple certifications, including my CISSP, PMP, and multiple role-based Azure certifications. I am also a Microsoft certified trainer and a regional lead for that program. This session will cover what are Azure policies and initiatives and how they can be used to create rules to control organizational governance for subscriptions and resources. We will talk about the role that Azure Security Center can play to review and audit policy and compliance controls. And finally, we'll talk about how to monitor and maintain policy and compliance within your environment using Azure. So let's start out by talking about Azure Policy. And what Azure Policy is, is it is a t service that can be used to govern cost, security, and jurisdiction for your organization's infrastructure. Azure has hundreds of built-in policies based on best practices that can be assigned to monitor and manage subscriptions and resources. In addition within Azure Policy are initiatives which are made up of a group of policies. Pre-built initiatives within Azure provide the ability to easily configure your subscription or your resource groups for regulatory governance. Assigning initiatives to resources will audit those resources for compliance and then provide the ability to remediate those resources for that compliance. Microsoft Azure holds many cloud attestations for their buildings and infrastructure. Some of the popular ones are on this slide and a full list can be found on the Microsoft website. It is important to understand what these attestations mean to an organization that is moving their workloads into Azure. If your organization requires a regulatory compliance, Azure can definitely assist in putting you on the path to adhering to those requirements. However, compliance goes beyond the attestations held by Azure or other cloud providers. There are processes, procedures, and controls that are all part of the audit guidelines for most regulatory compliance standards. The benefit of Azure attestations is that utilizing their infrastructure decreases the amount of architecture investment required to build out a compliant environment. As with any hosted environment, there is a partnership of shared responsibility that needs to be understood between that cloud provider and the organization. Challenges arise within a cloud environment when resources can be created that may affect cost, security, or regulatory jurisdictions. Governing your environment for financial, business, and security will be discussed further in the following sections, but it is important to understand the role that Azure can play in assisting you in monitoring and management of this governance. Azure policies are created, assigned, and utilized to govern the resources within your Azure subscription, and policies can be assigned using the built-in policies within Azure, of which there are hundreds, or custom policies can be created that may be necessary for your specific organizational needs. A list of these policies can be found on the link on this slide. Policies should be assigned at the beginning of building your environment in Azure, but they can also be retroactively created and existing resources can then be audited against these policies. Determining the policies to put in place should be based on a business, security, and financial discussion. Most of the financial and cost governance can be monitored and managed through the cost and billing services and Azure Advisor with spending limits and controls being put in place for the subscription and resources. There are also policies that can be put in place for controlling costs and performance compliance by assigning specific SKUs that are allowed within storage accounts, virtual machines, and VPN gateways. Assigning these policies, especially as they pertain to virtual machines, assist in controlling costs associated with deploying compute resources that are beyond what is necessary. Securing and protecting resources within the environment is extremely important. Azure again has many built-in policies for security available, 
These policies provide guidance for configuration of virtual machine guests, SQL databases, networking, monitoring, and security center. We will discuss this on the next slide, but enabling compliance controls and policies can audit resources for specific regulatory requirements that include a number of security controls. Reviewing these initiatives, you may find that auditing against one of the policies, such as NIST SP 800-53, could provide you with a strong security baseline for controls within your environment. When searching on the term security in Azure policy, you will find some helpful initiatives, such as auditing virtual machines for security baseline settings and auditing virtual machines with insecure password settings. Both initiatives protect exposure of resources and allow an administrator to be proactive to potential vulnerabilities. The policy service dashboard provides an overview of compliance. If resources are non-compliant, they are identified and can be remediated directly from within the policy service. Azure Security Center can also be used as a central source for monitoring controls for data, networking, identity, and threat protection. The business and security governance areas are somewhat related to each other, and both are focused on protecting the continued operations of the business. In terms of business governance, Policies can be assigned to ensure that resources are created without violating any regulatory restrictions, such as GDPR. Azure has built-in policies for allowed locations that can be created for the entire subscription or can be assigned by a resource group to segment jurisdiction as needed. Within the definitions, the parameters for data center locations are selected for where resources will be allowed to be created. If you're architecting the resource groups based on jurisdiction, the parameters can be assigned to only specific resource groups for that segmentation. The ability to govern and audit where resources are created helps the business maintain compliance of where their data, backups, and sensitive information is held. In the event of an audit or legal seizure, proper jurisdiction can be verified and followed. Within the built-in policies, there are over a dozen initiatives specific to the category of regulatory compliance. Initiatives, as we stated earlier, are made up of a group of policies. And this includes ISO 27001, PCI DSS, NIST, as we discussed before, FedRAMP, High Trust HIPAA, UK NHS, and Canada PBMM. These initiatives can be assigned to audit for these regulatory compliances. And there are several policies within each of these audit initiatives. If you find that an initiative does not fully suit the requirements for your organization, these initiatives can then be cloned and adjusted to create a custom initiative for your organization. Built-in regulatory compliance initiatives can be found at the link on the slide. When selecting an initiative, you can view the policies that are assigned as part of that initiative. The NIST audit initiative itself has 798 policies that make up the audit. The ability to perform these audits are extremely helpful to a business since third-party audits can be disruptive, time-consuming, and costly. It is important to note that not all policies are restricted to Azure resources. And Azure monitor services can be used for Azure as well as external resources, and the information then is fed into Azure Monitor and Azure Security Center. Azure policies are gathering the information for these audits through the same activity and diagnostic logging. And this enables an organization to have a central policy that audits a hybrid architecture for regulatory compliance. Compliance to policies and initiatives all feed into Azure Security Center, and it acts as a guide to assigning policies and controls through recommendations that are based on regulatory controls or industry best practices. When enabling Azure Security Center for the standard subscription, four regulatory standards are enabled. These are Azure CIS, PCI DSS, ISO 27001, and SOC TSP. If your organization requires other standards to be enabled, those can be initiated through the regulatory compliance menu of Security Center. Within the policy service definitions, there is a specific category for Security Center policies that can be assigned to allow data to be provided to the Security Center dashboard for an overall secure score for your subscription. 
Azure Security Center is a central source for the overall security health of your organization's environment from a business and security governance perspective. From this central dashboard, there is the ability to drill down and access areas of policy noncompliance and remediate resources to maintain a strong security posture. Additional information and a tutorial on utilizing security policy within Security Center can be found at the link on the slide. Azure Policy governs resource creation as well as audits existing resource compliance. Azure Security Center is a central point to review compliance and identify resources that are non-compliant. When a resource is non-compliant, it is important to identify and resolve this issue through remediation. Under remediations within the policy dashboard, a list of policies that need to be remediated is provided along with remediation tasks to become compliant. Let's now take a walk through enabling an initiative for compliance and monitoring and managing the compliance to controls within Azure Security Center. We're gonna start off by going into policy in the Azure portal. And from the dashboard, we can see the current policies that are enabled as well as initiatives and how these are currently assigned, uh, the compliance state uh, and the percentage of resources uh, that are compliant within our current environment. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of these policies and initiatives. So we're going to go over to authoring and to definitions. And here you can see we've got a custom virtual machine initiative. And then we have a whole bunch of built-in initiatives in here. Uh, we scroll down and we'll start getting into the individual policies as well. We're going to filter this list and simply look at the regulatory compliance initiatives within policy. So you can see there are a number of preview initiatives within here. Uh, we are going to look at the UK uh, NHS initiative here. And you can review here what the policies are that are tied to that initiative. And you can see there are a number of policies that are part of making up this UK NHS initiative, and we can very easily assign this to our subscription by just selecting assign, defining the scope of the subscription, or, and if we just want it to be part of a single resource group. If we have resources segmented in resource groups based on geographic locations, we could very easily identify and assign a specific geographic initiative right to a specific resource group and maintain that governance as we spoke about in the slide presentation. And then once we select that resource group, we simply select to enable that initiative and re set review and create. And now we're creating that initiative for that resource group. It doesn't take very long to assign that to resources. It might take a while for the initiative to audit resources to the policies and report back information on those controls to Security Center. So we've now enabled a new initiative. So now that we've enabled that initiative, let's take a look at Security Center and how we can use those initiatives to manage our compliance and monitor our compliance. So we're going into Security Center now. And once we get to Security Center, if you have the standard subscription enabled, you're going to see this regulatory compliance graphic enabled right in the center of your screen. And we can go right in here and review our compliance to our controls. And once we get in here, we can manage our compliance to our controls. And you can see the, the four standard compliance initiatives are right here on the screen. If you want to see more of your initiatives, you can go to your manage compliance and here you have the ability, you can add more standards within here. And you can see that we have uh, the ability here to add this into our policy right from here as well. We added that UK NHS policy into our policies. And then we also went in and managed our policies and added it into our 
security policy under regulatory compliance and security center. And now we can see when we go into manage policies, that policy is in here. And you can see that they have the out of box and you can see the ones that have been manually added. We have the ability here then to go right back into policy and review the policies for that initiative as we go through and audit our resources for regulatory compliance, we are going to be able then to review those initiatives. We can review the controls for each of those initiatives and whether we are in compliance for those controls and what we may need to remediate before our audit to maintain compliance to those controls. And that ends this quick demo on managing and monitoring policies and initiatives within Security Center. In this session, we covered Azure policies and initiatives and how they can be used to create rules and to control organizational governance for subscriptions and resources. We talked about the role that Azure Security Center can play to review and audit policy and compliance controls. And finally, we reviewed how to monitor and maintain policy and compliance within your environment using Azure. Thank you very much for your time today. Please feel free to reach out and connect with me at the social media links provided on this slide. Have a great day and enjoy the remaining sessions.